Hello there, my fellow weapon serves, and welcome to another episode from my Space Marine Armory series. Like I mentioned previously, the weapons we discuss here are not exclusively used by the Adeptus Astartes. But if you want to have some poster boys for advertising days, they would definitely be the Space Marines. The episode of today is not gonna be focused on a specific topic, but will rather be a good old fashioned overview. We are gonna be talking about an iconic category of war gear known as power weapons. We will find out what they are, and more importantly, several commonly used forms that these weapons come in. I am your host, the Grim Dark Narrator, and without further ado, let us proceed, shall we? Power weapons are rare and greatly coveted personal close combat weapons that are used on the battlefields of the 41st millennium by many different intelligent starfaring races, including the Imperium of Man, the Servants of Chaos, the Orcs, and various factions of the Eldar. Among the humans of the Imperium, few members of the Adeptus Mechanicus retain the knowledge necessary to make these deadly weapons and those that are in existence are often hundreds and even thousands of years old. Only the most powerful and influential warriors of the Imperium possess a power weapon as a result of their rarity. Inquisitors, high-ranking commissars, and Imperial Guard officers tend to possess them, as do members of various noble families with potent political clout and wealth. The Space Marines make use of the most power weapons in existence, as is their right. They generally exude a hazy field of blue energy that wraps around the primary impact region of a melee weapon, be it a sword's blade or warhammer's head, which is capable of disrupting the molecular bonds of matter when it strikes. These weapons may be constructed to appear as a primitive, simple melee instrument with the power field generator concealed within the hilt or the haft. Once the power field is switched on, however, the obvious humming sound given off and the blue light emitted gives away the secret of the weapon. There are special variants of these traditional types of power weapons, such as Inquisitor Gregor Eisenhorn's power sword, which has no actual metal blade, just a hilt that projects a blade of pure energy. Another such variant is the Eviscerator, an enormous chainsword where the adamantine chain blade emits a weak power field. Next, I would like to go over several different types of power weapons that are in use across the Imperium and beyond. I will not be going into detail on these today, as I want to make separate videos on them in the future. Thus, we have The Power Axe a power axe is a power weapon taking the form of a single or double-edged battle axe. Power axes vary in length and design, and have been known to be crafted from one of any number of different materials, though usually adamantium. As with all power weapons, when its power field is activated, usually by operating a control located on the hilt, the blade is sheathed in a lethal corona of disruptive energy. This energy field allows the blade to carve through flesh, bone and most forms of armor plate alike, making a power axe a highly effective close combat weapon. The weight of a power axe allows for greater impact forces when striking compared to a power sword, but is consequently far less nimble in the hand. Their unwieldiness and inferior defensive capabilities are often mitigated by pairing them with a combat shield or other means of protection, allowing a warrior to stay his enemy's attacks until he is ready to strike a killing blow. In most cases they have a reputation as a brutal and unsubtle weapon. The choice to employ one is often more personal than strategic. The Power Fist the Power Fist, also known as the Power Glove, is a large metal gauntlet surrounded by an energy field that disrupts solid matter. It is large and slow in combat, and so the bearer must be willing to take damage before they can strike back. 
The benefits of a power fist are that it increases the user's strength, much like power armor, due to the extra power put in by the electronics designed to allow it to move. It is most commonly fitted to Space Marine Tactical Dreadnought Armor. Officers from the Imperial Guard can also use them, and Commissar Yarick is most famous for his power claw. The Power Flail Like all flails, the Power Flail is a blunt, jointed apparatus capable of inflicting significant damage upon anyone unfortunate enough to be caught within its arc, even without its power field on. With the seething power field activated, however, it is a true instrument of destruction, shattering armor and defenses with a crushing, inexorable swing. The Power Maul A Power Maul is an Imperial power weapon most commonly used by the Adeptus Arbites. Effectively a baton surrounded by a power field, the Power Maul has a hidden subtlety. The power field setting can be extensively adjusted, so that its disruption effect can vary from bashing a hole in a wall to delivering a shock to an individual. This tactical depth of use makes it a valued tool of Imperial law enforcement. Arbitae's shock troops employ the weapon in combination with the suppression shield in breaking up riots. The Power Spear Throughout history, the spear has constantly proven to be a deadly and efficient weapon, and the Imperium of Mankind honors its legacy through various creations like the explosive-tipped hunting lance or the power spear. Officers in certain Imperial Guard Rough Rider regiments prefer to wield power spears over weapons like cavalry sabers, or even wield them as a secondary weapon for use after a hunting lance charge. The Power Sword The Power Sword is a power weapon that has been shaped into a sword of varying lengths and design, crafted from one of any number of different materials, though usually adamantium. When its power cell is activated, often by touching a control located on the hilt, the blade is sheathed in a lethal corona of disruptive power. This energy field allows the blade to carve through flesh, bone, and many types of armor. The Chain Fist The Chain Fist is a variant of the Power Fist, a weapon often used by the Adeptus Astartes. The Chain Fist is created when a Power Fist has a small chain sword attached to it, the size of a large bayonet. This is also covered by the Matter Disruptive Energy Field and is used to carve through armored bulkheads and such. It can also be used quite effectively even in close combat punching through even Terminator armor. Like the Power Fist, the Chain Fist is often used by the elite of the Space Marines, often in conjunction with Terminator armor. The Lightning Claw The Lightning Claw is a specialized type of power weapon. It consists of a power gauntlet and four blades attached to the gauntlet's fingers, that crackle with matter-disruptive energy. The blades are the equivalent of small power weapons which carve through armor and flesh with ease. They are, once again, commonly paired with Space Marine Terminator Assault Squads, where the entire squad can be armed with them, but can also be used by anyone with access to the armory. Lightning Claws are typically worn as a pair. The Crozius Arcanum the Crozius Arcanum serves as both a sacred staff of office and as a weapon for the Space Marine chaplains. This duality is perceived as only natural to a Space Marine, who sees battle as the most glorious form of worship to the Emperor. The Crozius Arcanum itself is a staff or mace of medium length, topped with either an Imperial Aquila symbol or the winged skull emblem of the Space Marines themselves. A few versions use iconography from the chapter they belong to, such as the blacksmith's hammer version used by some chaplains of the Salamander's chapter. The Thunder Hammer Thunder hammers are weapons of ancient design, utilizing a power field similar to that of a power sword or power fist, and it is used by the Space Marines and the Demon Hunters of the Ordo Malleus primarily by Terminator Assault Squads and characters with access to the relevant armory. 
Where other power weapons emit a constant energy field, the Thunder Hammer is designed to energize the power field only upon impact, enabling it to conserve energy until it is actually needed, and also allowing the weapon to deliver a particularly devastating blow. Upon impact, the Thunder Hammer's blue energy field explodes with a thunderous crack, more often than not smashing through armor and leaving a smoking hole that crackles with blue sparks. The power unleashed on impact is so great that a warrior not in Terminator armor will literally be knocked over. The weapon's main drawback in combat is its slowness in delivering a strike compared to other close combat melee weapons. The Thunder Hammer is often combined with a Storm Shield, giving the wielder a combination of unmatched lethality and superb protection in close combat. The Burning Blade What started as a series of malfunctioning power swords from the disreputable Clovis Munitorum became a new weapon type after users discovered the sword's faulty field conduits raised the temperature of their blades to over 600 degrees Celsius. The metalworkers of Loi investigated and created what are now known as the Burning Blades, power swords which deliberately create intense heat along their blade, so as to burn flesh to the bone with each strike. Heavily insulated so that the user feels very little of the inferno raging inches from their palm, these swords are nevertheless extremely dangerous to the wielder as much as their opponent. The targets hit with this weapon are very likely to be set aflame. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about power weapons for today. If you guys have any preference from the things I talked about today, and would like to see those covered next, do feel free to write it down in the comments below. Was this video entertaining or informative? In that case, please click the like button and subscribe for more content. And if you'd like to help me keep this channel alive, please go check my Patreon page, the link for which is in the video description. Thank you very much for watching, and I wish you all an awesome day. The Emperor Protects.